Welcome to study online. This is quadratic equation new pattern. Okay. In this video, we will discuss some questions on quadratic equation, some different questions. Okay. By short trick. Our Facebook group is study online. I request to all of you please join this group. Let's start with the first question. First question given is x square plus 5 root 3x minus 42 is equal to 0 and y square minus 8 root 2 y plus 30 is equal to 0. So how we how we will find the roots of this equation? Let's see. Suppose I am solving one question this side and other equation this side. Okay. The first equation given is x square plus 5 root 3x minus 42 is equal to 0 okay now see as I told you in last videos those who have not watched them please watch part 1 and second first okay then you will get all the concept as I told you whatever the coefficient of x square just multiply with the constant n okay here it is 1 1 multiply by 2 is 42 okay whenever you see the equation like this where untrue comes okay what you have to do here it is 42 okay now see just write because you have under root 3 here just write under root 3 and under root 3 two times okay two times okay now see under root 3 multiply by under root 3 will give us 3 okay now 3 is multiplied by what number so we will get 42 so definitely I can say if I multiply this by 14 we will get 42 only okay 14 now I have to divide this 14 in such a way that by adding we will get this number 5 root 3 so as you know I can divide like this 14 can be written as 7 into 2 so I can write it as 7 root 3 and 2 root 3 and if I put it 7 plus and here it is minus then 7 root 3 minus 2 root 3 will give us what 5 root 3 positive okay. So we will get roots how we will find the roots. So x1 will be equal to whatever sign come here just opposite just take opposite sign okay minus 7 root 3 and x2 will be what 2 root 3 only okay I hope you got this 2 root 3 now see these are the equation root of the first equation okay similarly second equation is y square minus 8 root 2 y plus 30 is equal to 0 what we have to do first just take because here it is root 2 root 2 and root 2 two times okay now root 2 root 2 gives 2 only we have to make it 50, sorry 30 then of course I have to multiply this two because it is giving 2 by multiplying these 2 we will get 2 2 multiply by 15 only will give us 30 and I have to divide 50 to get 8 root 2 okay so 15 can be written as 5 multiply by 3 that means 5 and 3 so I will get what 5 root 2 and 3 root 2 and both of negative sign so we will get minus 8 root 2 by adding these two okay so the roots of the equation will be y1 will be equal to opposite sign that means 5 root 2 and y2 will be 3 root 2 i hope you got this okay now we will compare all these roots okay see by putting x1 constant we will compare this by y values and then x2 constant again by y values okay see first root of the x is 7 root 3 and again 7 root 3 second root is 2 root 3 2 root 3 x2 okay this is x1 this is also x1 this is x2 this is x2 we have to compare it by y 3 root 2 and again 5 root 2 okay okay so as you can clearly see 
between these two equation this is these are negative and these are positive definitely this will be greater these two will be greater and here it is 2 root 3 that means root 3 we can assume as root 3 is equal to 1.7 2 but we will assume at 1.7 that means and root 2 will be equal to 1.4 only okay so this will give 2 multiply by 1.7 that means 3.4 and this will give 5 multiply by 1.4 that means 7 obviously this will be greater similarly this will be greater so by comparing this equation we can clearly say x is less than y or y is greater than x i hope you got this see one more question you will get clear view see this is the equation 5x square plus 4 root 10x plus 8 is equal to 0 as i told you in earlier equation what we will do first multiply the coefficient of x square by constant we will get we will get as 40 40 okay now here it is root 10 write root 10 root 10 two times okay now root 10 root 10 multiply if we multiply we will get 10 only and we have to get 40 that means 10 multiply by what number we will get 40 4 only so 2 2 both are positive by adding them we will get 4 root 10 and by multiplying them we will get 40 that means this is the correct assumption and now by this we will get the values of negative take negative sign okay whatever the sign you get here just reverse the sign here it is plus we will take negative so negative 2 root 10 and remember one more thing here coefficient of x square is 5 so we have to divide the equation sorry we have to divide the these roots by coefficient of x square similarly x2 will be minus 2 root 10 divided by 5 so these are the roots of this equation and now we have to find root of this equation see first we will multiply the coefficient of y square with constant that will give us what 4 to the 8 8 3 is a 24 we will get 24 okay now as earlier what we will do just divide the 24 so we will get 5 as you know 24 can be written as 8 into 3 and if i take 8 as plus and 3 as minus then definitely i will get plus 5 that means plus 8 and negative 3 okay so y1 will be equal to whatever sign we got here just revert the sign minus 8 divided by coefficient of y square 4 root 3 and similarly y2 will be equal to here it is minus we will take plus plus 3 divided by 4 root 3 this is 2 that means minus 2 by root 3 and it is like this so these are the equation now you can easily compare and whatever the answer you can choose that option clearly okay i hope you got this if there is any doubt please ask me in comment box okay we will have more videos on quadratic equation or other topics if you like this video please like it and subscribe my channel and share these videos with your friends thank you friends